How we doing today guys? Sam and Alex back with this week's fishing report for you guys. Really excited. It's great weather out there. Time to really start getting out there and getting everything ready to go. It's feel like summer. It is. It feels like summer today. Beautiful breeze out there. This is the time to get out. So let's start out with the upper and middle bay. Most of what we're going to be seeing right now in the main stem of the bay is probably catfishing. Yep. Um, there's a bunch of ways to do it, but primarily it's going to be cut bait on the bottom. Some of your good areas are going to be the mouths of all your rivers if you're fishing from a boat. However, if you're fishing from shore, there's great areas like Mattapique and Sandy Point um, that you can do well on that. We have fresh LY in today, but if we run out, we also have some freshly frozen stuff, and that's typically what most folks are going to be using. Uh, if you can't get a hold of that, we do have a uh, frozen mullet, which is a really good bait a lot of people don't think yep. about, but it, it freezes super well, so you, the chunks stay really fresh after they fall off. Fall and sometimes out. the uh, catfish are not that picky. It's not just a matter of getting in the right spot, right area, and sometimes you know, you'll know you have a, a whole bunch of them hanging around, but uh, the tide's important, obviously. Mm -hmm. Check your tides, uh, moving water. It's kind of like rock fishing, right? And they'll be uh, getting active with that. And, also, one thing I've noticed too is uh, fishing in the evenings until dark tend to be pretty decent times yeah. to go for these catfish. Just like any other fish, move in a little bit closer to sh uh, to shore, and you can get them that way. Yeah, absolutely. If you're still up in the creeks and fishing up there, perch are starting to fizzle out in their spawning areas, especially on this side. There's still a few left over in those spawning areas mm -hmm. on the um, eastern shore. Typical places like Tuckahoe, Hillsboro, but, and um, Red Bridges. Uh, what's pushing in there, though, is the shad. Exactly. Yep. Uh, plenty of shad. Uh, Southern Maryland is seeing probably the first big push of hickories and a few Americans mixed in. Uh, we're talking about the Potomac. Uh, a couple of the creeks are feeding to the Potomac, like Matter Woman, uh, Patuxent River. And then if you're on the eastern side, uh, Pocomoke. Uh, what Comico and a lot of those places are the ones getting that big push, and like you just said, Red Bridges and all those, all those places are starting to get more and more hickories in there. And if you're up north fishing, pretty much like the Susquehanna area, a lot of those parts on the upper part, that's usually about two weeks behind. They are fished there already. Got reports of some Americans right at the Quantumingo Dam and some hickories, and right below there at Deer Creek, there has been a good push of hickories. It's just kind of hit or miss. Mm -hmm. Like I said, they're kind of pushing in, but we're pretty much right on time for that right now. Yeah, absolutely. Pickerel fishing uh, is still great. A lot of people stop fishing for them this time of the year because there's a bunch of other stuff mm -hmm. starting to heat up. However, slipping back in the creeks, I started to target more of the upper upper parts of it right now, especially because they're, they're in the spawn phase. Um, you can catch some really true giants this time of the year. Oh, yeah. If you want to catch one of your biggest pickerel ever, this is the time to do it. Uh, it's a little bit tougher sometimes to get bites right now, but the ones that you do are usually a lot quality. Exactly. Let's move on to what's going on down south. Uh, and this is like Southern Bay and whatnot. We got a lot of stuff kind of going on down there. Uh, primarily like Southern Southern Bay uh, with some of those early season red drum moving into the area and even some black drum. And you're gonna get those with either if you're gonna bottom fish with some peeler crabs or if you're jigging at for them with some of those bigger seven inch baits, mm -hmm. uh, streaks, etc., on the jig head. So that's starting to get hot down south, specifically right at the mouth of the Chesapeake and some of those areas like in the Pocomoke Sound and whatnot. It will be one of those fisheries where you kind of have to look around, try to finding them first, mm -hmm. uh, and it will continue to get better as we go into May. Yeah. Um, touching on the crabbing, it's still definitely a little bit early. The water tips aren't quite where we need them to be, but certainly with this nice weather we're having, some of your southern rivers are going to start to pick up here in the next few weeks. So definitely ready to get all your stuff ready, prepared, because a lot goes into crabbing, you know, rigging up all the trout lines, stuff like that. Right. So right now is definitely the time to start getting all that ready to go for you. Um, there has been some new regulations this year, so you guys do want to check out DNR's website and figure out those new regulations or stop in and get a book from us and kind of learn about that to make sure you're in the right there. Right. Now, coastal fishing, uh, Ocean City and whatnot, the hottest thing right now that's being talked about is the black drum fishing going on at the south tip of Fiastic Island. And that's pretty much Chincoteague in Virginia and the southern portion of the actual island in the Maryland side. If you have one of those uh, off-road passes and you can get down to it. Uh, sand fleece, uh, fish bites, uh, specifically the clam and the sand flea flavors have been the hottest baits with those high and low rigs. So that's gonna continue to get better right now. Uh, this usually goes on until probably the middle of May. 
but that's one of the things you want to kind of you know go down there and target if you get the chance to go to the ocean right now and there will be some mixed in striped bass mm -hmm. in those areas and remember the regulations are a little bit different for the ocean side so check out your regulations for that because it is open to uh, catch and release and even keeping fish on the ocean side right now. And inside of some of those bays like Ocean City, uh, the tall tog, people are mm -hmm. catching some really nice tog inshore, which is great to see. Places like the Route 50 Bridge, some of that harder bottom you get, maybe towards the inlet, all that kind of stuff. Um, great time to go out for those. Uh, typical crab on a on a, a tog jig is really what most folks are going right. to be using for that. Shrimp. Shrimp, all sorts of stuff like that. So really good fishing down that way as far as flounder fishing goes um it's definitely a little bit early but i did hear some folks over at rudy inlet catching a few so yeah. pretty good start i think probably towards mid to late next month we're going to start seeing those fish push into a lot of our uh, inner coastal bays around here oh yeah so it's only getting better guys remember fishing zone continues to get better weather looks good so make sure you stop by for all your tackle needs here at angler sports center and we will see you guys next week thanks guys have a good one